On July 24, 1847, a wagon rolled to the mouth of a canyon. Brigham Young, sick with tick fever, raised up on his elbow, looked over the valley, and declared, This is the right place. Two days earlier, on July 22nd, 109 men, three women, and eight children from that vanguard company had arrived in the valley. Thomas Bullock, the company clerk, recorded in his journal, We descended a gentle sloping tableland to a lower level where the soil and grass improved in appearance. The wheat grass grows six or seven feet high. Many different kinds of grass appear, some being 10 to 12 feet high. After wading through thick grass for some distance, we found a place bare enough for a camping ground, the grass being only knee-deep but very thick. We camped on the banks of a beautiful stream which was surrounded by very tall grass. That original campsite was located at what today is 1700 South and 500 East in Salt Lake City. In 1997, a memorial park was dedicated at that location commemorating the 150th anniversary of that first encampment. Orson Pratt and an exploring expedition entered the valley earlier that morning in 1847 and joined the camp that evening. Among the 120 that first night were such notables as Truman Angel, architect of the Salt Lake Temple, the Beehive House, and other buildings. William Clayton, author of the great pioneer hymn, Come Come Ye Saints, and Porter Rockwell, childhood friend and bodyguard of the prophet Joseph Smith. On the morning of July 23rd, those 120 saints left that first encampment and moved north to City Creek, what today is downtown Salt Lake City. It was here that Brigham Young and the rest of the Vanguard Company joined them on July 24th. Upon entering the valley, the saints shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to God and the Lamb. Amen, Amen, Amen.